Sierra Leone until I was like 12, 11, 12. And I grew up in California. I moved a lot, so we kind of grew up different, different places. I grew up in California for a few years and then I moved to Washington, Seattle. So I currently live here in Washington, Seattle. How was life back in Africa? I don't, I don't think I remember much of it, but it's good, you know, it's my home. My home is home, it's always good. When growing up, who was your own model? Growing up, um, after I got, after I came to the U.S., I'd have to say my mother. My mother was, uh, she's a very, very good person. She has, she has the kindest heart in the world. I always looked up to her. I always wanted to be like her when I was here. So. Where is your mom now? My, the mom I'm talking about, because I'm adopted. The mom I'm talking about, she's here. She, she lives in Washington. Too. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. And she support you in your music? Uh, it's kind of a complicated story, but she, she, she was an artist too growing up, so I don't think she has a problem with it. Just, you know, it's complicated. <laughs> All right. So, as an artist from Sierra Leone, um, what did you find exciting in America being an artist? Well, I guess it's because like people don't know you very well, so you you always have the freedom to do whatever you want still, and people you can be yourself. I mean, if I was in Africa, I'd probably have to be careful what I do, or where I go, or what I say. But here, nobody knows me unless I'm in the community. Right? My music is played and people actually know me there, but like in Seattle, ah, I'm just a regular person. <laughs> Nobody knows me. Um, you're a model too, right? I used to be. You used to be? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. You know, the, when, when modeling is so demanding, it's not, it's always like you have to be this size, you have to be this height. And I'm very petite. I'm like 5'3". Every time you go to a photo shoot, it's like, oh my god, you're so pretty, but I wish you were taller. You can't fit in my clothes. And I like having a body, you know. It's, I, I, I just, as I was transiting through going through an adult, my body started growing, and I'm not a size zero anymore. And I really, I love that. I love that, and I wouldn't change it for anything. And in the modeling industry, it's always different. You have to be skinnier, you have to be taller. I can't grow, so, so I just, you know. All right. Um, being an artist, so how many labels have signed you before or who are you currently working with now? Well, I was honestly signed to one label uh -huh. and I was Box Production and um, since we kind of split up, I've been doing my own thing, I'm working on starting my own label and I do have a manager, but as a label, I don't think I'll be signing any label at this point in my career until, unless it's something bigger, way bigger, just the African scene, or just Nigeria or Syria, you know? If I'm, I'm gonna decide something big. For right now, you are a free artist. Yes, I am my own artist, because I'm working on my own. My own company. How many artists have you worked with? Recently, to name out a few. Recently or forever, <laughs> always. <laughs> to name out a few. Uh, I work with Heaven J in uh, Love is Blind. I, I work with 441, the group. With the other group so. And King Doss, obviously, you guys are keep hearing about him. He and I did uh, You and I. Yeah. Uh, Currently, I'm working with Wakonzi and a couple of Syrian artists as well. We're doing uh, this new song, A Moves to the Remix. So you guys look out for that. It's a very beautiful song. How do you interact with your fans? Oh, I love my fans. I just I haven't been, I haven't, we haven't done any shows yet, so I haven't had an opportunity to meet very many of them. But we are planning on it, and so they should expect great things. <laughs> so like on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram? Oh yeah, we talk, me and my friends are like, we're fans. My fans are like my friends, you know? Is that any messages, we like going off. People are like, you talk to your fans like your friends. I'm like, well, yeah, they kind of make me who I am, right? So, I love my fans. So, which other artists do you have a close relationship with? Uh, I'm pretty close with 
a lot of artists, I guess, but mostly males though, like uh, Kevin J and I. And that's it too. The one that makes everybody's beats is just my boy and uh, Ryan. So I don't know, you know, we're cool. We hang, we see each other every once in a while. And we're cool. We all live in different, different places, so we, we don't always, we're not always in the same place at the same time. But when we are, you know, we always have fun. How many producers have you worked with, like, just to name a few? Um, Jada, Samway Richie, Lord Mo, Raheem, he's a writer. So yeah, that's uh, just a handful. Like, I don't, and, I don't like moving around too much. Right. And which of them do you like? <laughs> Let's see power with you. One, two, three. Which of them? Uh, you know, I can't choose because all of them have their own talent and they all can come up with different sounds. Like Lord Mo, he does a Sierra Leone sound and he's perfect at it. And as you look at Nas, he does more like the Western style and he's good at it. And I like all of those music and I can't choose all of those music. If you listen to my music, it's not based on what I can do already. My salon music, I, I can't choose. I love all my producers and they're all amazing and talented, so I'm sorry. You have a new song called Bala. <laughs> can you please explain to us what that means? Well, Bala means marriage um, on the woman's side. Because Bala is when a woman is married, it's a term for a woman. And then there's another term for a man, which is Nanta. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> and then to the, the girl is mother. So the song is about about a mother forcing. Okay, let me speak as because this is a true story. This is something I wrote it from experience. It actually happened. And my mom is always calling me since I was like 18. So I was saying about it, and I'm like, no, I don't think you will know. I'm big, that in me picking, I need to start picking. I'm like, mom, I'm only 18. <laughs> And so uh, one night it just came to me. And I was just sitting there. Just, na, 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 na. That's how it started. I recorded it first, like a very bad version, and I put it on YouTube. So you can check it out. It's still up there. I might put it down soon. And then I forgot about it. I wrote it like three years ago. The song has been written for three years, and I forgot about it. I left it, and I went to Freetown recently this, this, this year. And Dawson and I were just playing, he and I were sitting around and we played guitar and just... And then he was playing and I was singing along to when he was playing. He went crazy, oh my god, who did that song? Whose song are you singing? Like I, just, I wrote the song a while back. He dragged me to the studio to produce it. And he made the beat the same day, we went to the studio and we added more to it. At first when I wrote it, I didn't, I didn't know the difference between Bala and Nita. Because, you know, I've been here and like, Timmy was slipping away. So, I was, they told me it's not Nanta, it's Bala. So when I originally sang it, I said Nanta instead of Bala. And so he changed it, helped me rewrite it, like change things, add and reduce. And, and the song came out and it was actually my favorite song. It really is. <laughs> well, how do you feel singing in your native language, one of our native language? You know, I never thought I would. And that's what's so special about it. I love it. I love cultural music. I love Timidi music. Because most of it, it tells a story. It's like when you listen to country music, country music, they have most of their songs like storytelling, right? That's pretty much what Timidi is. That's how Timidi music is as well. And I absolutely love it. The sound, the like, piano and the guitar. Oh, it's so beautiful to me. And I'm so blessed that I, I can actually remember it and I can actually sing it and it comes out that good, it's it, it's a good feeling. I love it. I love to sing it into me and I hope and I plan to sing it more into the world. Sure, I believe we're going to hear more songs in native language coming from you, right? Well, if you guys like it, I mean, I was, I would always do it, but I hope you guys listen to it because that's what I love. I love it. I'm sing it. Either you don't listen to it or not, I'm going to do it because I like it. It'll probably be like bonus in the tracks if people don't like it, but it seems like they do. They they received Bala very well. We haven't even promoted it, and it's doing very well on social media. It's very, very good. Yeah. Okay. Of all your songs, 
Which one do you like most? I like two actually. This Balo one, I love it because the Dawson's part is so beautiful. His voice is it's so sad and so much emotion. I love that. And my favorite other song is uh, You and I. That song takes me to different places every time I listen to it. I absolutely love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So that song, where did the inspiration come from, you and I? You and I? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you know, there's somebody, you know, but, you know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, so, definitely. It's, it's okay. uh, what do you have to say to your fans? Well, right now I just want them to hang tight because I'm coming. And I'm coming with a bang. I'm releasing a new song on the 21st. A really good video and I want people to just like help support me because we want to, I want to be, I want to be, my team and I are working to make it to the Nigerian, West African, African industry by next year or by the end of next year. So we need support, we need promotion. Even if you're not a promoter or you're not a DJ, you, know, you don't have a website, just help us promote however you can to spread our music so you can see us up there. We can also be the two as average. Let some of myself get somebody up there that we represent. Because Nigerians, they keep killing us. We need somebody up there, and I know that I can, but the only way I can do that is if everybody support and come to our shows. You have to remember, we are, we are Sierra Leoneans, and we need to support each other. We need to make our own industry good, because you have to think about it this way. If our industry is good, it's going to better our country. Some of us are coming together to create like organizations, help schools to do things. And the only way we can do that is if we get supported for us to make a name and then get people to help us and sponsor all of these things. And so we need you guys to support us to make it. So we can have better music, so people can be like, oh, stay around the university and they try. We don't want to try, we want to be, because we do have talent in our country. So we just need support, support, support. Come to the show, even if you don't like the art, just come support, because there's a union, because you love Sierra. So that's, that's, that's what I want to say. What do you think about Sierra Leone music as a whole, the industry as a whole? Well, it's coming. It's coming, honestly. Like, especially this December, some of the songs I've heard that they're promoting that is about to come out, I'm like, wow, this, this is actually from Sierra Leone. And people are actually stepping in game up, they're going to the studio, mastering very, very well. They do a lot of things that you wouldn't even expect in the Sierra industry. And they're doing, I mean, they're like, people like Abizzi is pulling out some crazy videos. That's Nigerian or West, like, Africa. big, big standard videos. I would say we're, we're getting there, you know, but we, like I said before, support. Come to our show, support people. Views, views are important as well. Go to the YouTube channel, like it, or don't like it, just go and look and just support, please, that's it. All right, one personal question. Oh. Any love in the life? I always have love. My fans love me. My fans are the love of my life. Personal question. <laughs> I love my fans. All they right. <laughs> okay. Um, we want to say we appreciate everything. And what's your last word? And Tata to everybody. Uh, look out for the new song, the new single, the new um, video. The song is dropping on the 21st. Help us push it, promote it. It's going to be on iTunes, River Nation, SoundCloud, YouTube. Help us buy the music. We're on iTunes. I'm on iTunes right now. Oh, my work is on iTunes. So go to iTunes, download our music just to support it. Because the more you buy, the better. I'll be able to better my songs the next time. And follow us on social media, Instagram, xx I'm on MySpace, Facebook, I don't think we use MySpace anymore. And I'm on Twitter, 
And yeah, so just listening and supporting helps out the music with it. And yeah, you guys have a good day and thank you for having me on your show. Thank you.